Next up, we've got Jakub Rosa Hinal, who is a director of Planetum Observatory and Planetarium of the capital city of Prague. Um, Jakub specializes mainly in small bodies of the solar system, in particular the study of asteroid families and the study of the decay of small bodies. He lectures on astrophysics at the Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Czech Technical University, and he's also involved in popularizing astronomy, physics, and related science, having given dozens of popularizing lectures and an, as an author of many books. So, guys, ready? I'm not forgetting this time. Stand an ovation for Jakub Rosa Hinal. Welcome, Jakub. Very great to have you here. And you actually, at your museum, have the first planetarium and the first satellite in your planetarium, which is big news, because it's actually local. Great to have you here. Well, thank you. Uh, well, um, I'll let you take it away. Cool. <laughs> thank you. Well, uh, <clears throat> Thank you for interaction. Uh, my name is Jakob Rezenal. I'm head of Planetum, uh, which is the uh, largest uh, platform for, for uh, astronomy popularization in uh, Czech Republic. Uh, it's composed of two uh, observatories, uh, Stefanik Observatory on Petřín Hill, uh, 20 minutes by walk from here, and a small uh, observatory at Diablice and uh, also Prague Planetarium, uh, which uh, was founded in uh, 1960. Uh, at that time, it belonged to uh, among uh, 10 largest planetarium uh, on the world. Uh, at present, it still belongs among the uh, largest planetarium in the world, uh, with uh, the room with diameter about 24 meter. Uh, but uh, we decided uh, to uh, close it and uh, renovate it, improve it uh, with uh, cutting edge uh, technology, with uh, LAD uh, projection system. Uh, after about uh, one year, I, I hope, in one year, uh, we will uh, be uh, the largest planetarium of its uh, type on the world. Uh, it's uh, due to the kindness of uh, Prague uh, government, uh, which uh, gives us a uh, really large amount of uh, money, about $10 million. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, uh, before we will close, uh, we uh, hope to host uh, many school groups uh, to communicate uh, via our own satellite. Uh, last year uh, and this year uh, we became the first planetarium in the world uh, which uh, launched uh, its own uh, satellite for uh, educational purposes. Uh, actually, I'm an astronomer, astrophysicist. I'm engaged in hydrodynamic simulations of uh, protoplanetary disks and uh, collisions between uh, planets and protoplanets. Uh, so, uh, for me, the table is full of electronic mass. Uh, and it is probably what is uh, the satellite composed from. Uh, so, I, uh, I recognize no. here... Uh, I recognize here the pointer. Uh, I, 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 uh, it's <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, I recognize the orientation system, and uh, uh, there are two computers, two antennas, two cameras. Uh, like in the human body, uh, what is important, uh, we have in pair to hands, to uh, legs, to lungs, to kidneys, uh, and so. Uh, but only one head. It's interesting, isn't the head uh, important for us? Maybe um, uh, legs are important when uh, you want to uh, run from, from, from danger, but uh, legs uh, are moving yourself. But your head uh, can move the whole mankind. That's why we decided to launch a satellite uh, for educational purposes. Um, uh, 
here is it packed in play case to uh, move to Germany, uh, to Exolange company, uh, where uh, it uh, was loaded to uh, to a uh, so-called deployer. Uh, deployer is a box uh, where our uh, satellite uh, lives uh, together with uh, another one. Uh, of course, when uh, you are launching a small satellite, this is a cube, 10 to 10 to 10 meter, uh, centimeters. Uh, so uh, it would be uh, really very expensive to launch it uh, just uh, just um, uh, itself. So uh, our satellite uh, was uh, launched uh, together with. Uh, to uh, 58 another uh, another uh, satellite of course uh, we uh, had to build a command center um, <coughs> Uh, it is uh, built in uh, Prague Planetarium Foyer. Uh, it's open to public, uh, so you can visit it uh, free of charge. Uh, this is a place uh, from where uh, we are uh, sending messages or commands to, to, to the satellite, and uh, uh, we are receiving also data data from from the orbit. Um, <coughs> and this is uh, this is a launch of Falcon. Uh, of uh, Falcon 9 satellite. Uh, it was its, uh, I think, uh, 25th mission. Uh, it's a 70 uh, meter high uh, rocket uh, reaching orbit in uh, about eight, uh, eight minutes. And uh, <coughs> you, can, uh, you can see here a uh, uh, cut of uh, the uh, first stage uh, of, of the rocket and burning of uh, the engine of the second stage, which delivered uh, the payload to the orbit uh, in height about uh, 530 kilometers. And uh, when uh, it is on this, this orbit, it is uh, time to um, uh, remove the air shield because there is no air, so you need to, uh, you don't need to, um, uh, to have a uh, aerodynamic uh, shielding. And now uh, you can see in deployment of uh, all the satellites from from uh, the uh, deployers. As I told, there was about 60, uh, 60 satellites, and uh, between them. Uh, among them, there is also our own. I think it would be. No, I miss it. <laughs> uh, well, so uh, this is how uh, the, uh, our our satellite uh, uh, looks like. Uh, <coughs> you can see the names engraved uh, on on the top. There are names of uh, employees of of uh, Planetum. Uh, of my colleagues, uh, uh, it has it has also uh, unfolded uh, antennas, uh, which are folded to uh, for 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 the um, move to to the orbit, and and there are uh, systems uh, inside batteries, computers, at uh, et cetera. And uh, you can see on the top also our passenger. Uh, uh, people from Czech Republic know it very well. Uh, it's Hurvinek, very famous uh, figure, like uh, Mickey Mouse for the others. Uh, <coughs> to uh, communicate uh, with um, uh, with a satellite, uh, we have uh, also our communication uh, system. Uh, this is an uh, antenna on the uh, rooftop of, of the planetarium. Uh, <coughs> uh, to obtain the highest signal to noise uh, ratio, uh, we need to point uh, the antenna uh, exactly uh, to the place where uh, the uh, satellite is uh, actually on the orbit. Uh, so uh, during the flyby over uh, the horizon, uh, which lasts 
about five minutes, the five minutes on average. Uh, this is uh, our only chance uh, to send data to the satellite uh, to uh, receive data like uh, um, temperatures and other other data from sensors and pictures. Uh, we can uh, receive it uh, through the whole world through the uh, Setmox uh, uh, network. Um, and this is a, a first picture uh, from uh, the orbit uh, that proves that uh, everything went all right. Uh, uh, the passenger uh, is not uh, there just for fun. Uh, it is uh, to uh, engage uh, also smallest uh, children to uh, space uh, and um, cosmonautics and etc. Et uh, as I told you, uh, this is for educational uh, purposes. So uh, school groups and uh, groups from high, high school or universities uh, should visit, uh, can, uh, could visit planetarium and uh, learn how to uh, write a code uh, to send some uh, message or some command uh, to the to the spacecraft, not spacecraft, a satellite. Uh, and uh, we also hope uh, uh, there will be uh, some students of high schools or universities uh, which uh, uh, will uh, who will. Um, help us uh, to assemble uh, the second satellite, Planetum 2, uh, which is planned to be uh, twice as large as Planetum 1. And uh, I hope uh, it will have uh, really uh, scientific or uh, some purposes, uh, like, um, I mean, it will obtain useful data, uh, data for uh, public, uh, for for example, agriculture or uh, some data uh, regarding national resources uh, or data uh, regarding uh, uh, local uh, climate uh, state or so. So uh, actually, this is a satellite for you. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Gawad, that he finishes that.